The Nigerian Army has assured its officers and men of training and retraining for them to overcome the current challenges of insecurity in the country. The General Officer Commanding 1 Division Nigerian Army, Major General Majorensu Sarasu, said these at the end of the Interbrigade Warrant Officers and Senior Non-Commissioned Officers Competition organized by the 1 Division held at the 31 Artillery Brigade Mina Military Contournment, Niger State. For three days, these warrant officers and senior non-commissioned officers who have put in between 20 to 30 years in service of the Nigerian army, defending the territorial integrity of the country, have been slogging it out in an interbrigade competition organized by the 1 Division Nigerian Army. The brigades that participated in the competition were the host 31 Artillery Brigade, 1 Division Garrison and the 3 Brigade. The officers seem aging in sight but still have the physical ability and strength to compete squarely in weapon handling and range classification, combat swimming, map reading and navigation, physical fitness and obstacle crossing. The General Officer Commanding 1 Division Nigerian Army Major General Mayurenso Saraso, represented by the Brigade Commander 31 Artillery Brigade Brigadier General Hamidu Bobo, Express satisfaction with the competition, especially with the expertise displayed. As the Nigerian Army continues to forge ahead, training will remain the best welfare soldiers can have. This year's competition is reaffirmation of the premium which one division Nigerian Army places on effective training. The division will continue to implement our training program in line with Army Headquarters training directives. Accordingly, new skills will continue to be acquired, areas of weaknesses will be straightened out, and those areas where personnel are strong will be consolidated. He further used the medium to announce that the Nigerian Army will continue to take the welfare of officers seriously, especially as it relates to training and retraining for mental alertness and to overcome security challenges. The competition we are closing today is one of the series of competitions lined up for year 2024. We still have the Combat Proficiency Competition, which is scheduled to take later in August this year. Of course, you know the participants are the officers. At the end of the competition, which was keenly contested, three brigade emerged as the overall winner, while second position went to 31 artillery brigade and the third position was clinched by the one division. Prizes and awards were given to outstanding officers which climaxed the 2024 Interbrigade Warrant Officers and Senior Non-Commissioned Officers Competition. Zachary Omale, AIT News, Mina.